Hello, YouTubers and Slim Banders and Bandsters and all the people that have subscribed to me. I've uh, been gone for a little while. Um, it's one final 007, uh, Gary. Um, just checking in. It's coming up on post op week 12. Um, this will be my seventh video. Um, it's been probably two months since I've checked in. Um, I didn't see the need to do the weekly thing um, every week there uh, after about the second month. <laughs> we all know what's going on. Um, just an update on uh, a little about uh, how things are going with myself, uh, my life in general, how I'm feeling. Um, so with, uh, with that, like I said, we're about 12 weeks uh, background here. I'm in my uh, I'm in my big rig at work. Have some time in a customer's dock. Figured I'd make a video. Uh, post it uh, later this evening. It is Tuesday, June the 12th. Um, I'm feeling fantastic um, as far as my progress goes. Um, everybody sees a massive change in me. Uh, attitude. Um, I wouldn't say my energy levels are increased. They just don't decrease. Yeah, put it that way. Um, you know, I, I don't tire as easily. I don't get winded when I'm uh, working out. I have to work out longer um, to get the same results, um, which which is a good thing. Um, I wish I could work out shorter to get the, the same results, but uh, at this point, I guess I'm becoming healthier, and, uh, and it's going to take a little more effort to uh, attain the same results. The last couple of weeks have been, um, I've been a bad boy. I've been a bit of a carboholic. Um, so uh, my weight loss has plateaued um, pretty much for the last three weeks. I've been the same weight, you know, up and down a couple of pounds. Um, you know, the, the cookies and the bag of chips and the, um, the fact that I, I don't think my, my band is properly adjusted. Um, I can, uh, I can overeat. Um, I've noticed that like, uh, you know, 20, 30 ounce meals and it's not even a conscious effort that I'm going to eat those 20 ounces. I'm going to eat that, uh, shepherd's pie. I'm, you know, it's just, I guess whether, I don't know if it's a type of food or, um, a combination of, of, you know, chewing my food really well and the band not being adjusted. Um, I only hope that the band hasn't slipped, um, that I haven't caused an issue by uh, overeating. Um, don't know. I haven't been in for a checkup. Um, I only talked to the, the dietitian once. Um, I believe back there at week eight, a couple weeks ago. So um, there's that. Otherwise, I feel fine. Um, I haven't had any pee being well. No, it's a lie. I think I had one where um, I ate something. Uh, it was pork chop or something. It was a little bit dry. And after eating it, I'm like, wow, I'm, I'm really parched. And I. Uh, I, I took a glass of uh, a drink of milk, and I, the intent was just to wet my mouth. And I think I took a, a larger, a larger swallow, a lot of mouthful than I perhaps should have, and it just didn't go anywhere. It just it sat here, and I had no choice but to run to the sink, and it was milk out the nose. I just, yeah, it was it was, uh, it was funny. I was laughing. Um, obviously, my wife was concerned, but uh, it's. Not a big deal, I, I guess. Uh, other than that, uh, no other uh, issues other than um, sometimes maybe not chewing uh, uh, well enough and getting that restriction here at the back of the throat, feeling that things were, you know, tight um, and uncomfortable. Um, so, having said that, um, I am now just purchased uh, the other night there another pair of shorts and... Uh, I have been wearing 38s, um, but I did buy one pair of 36s just to see. Um, and it was a Walmart, so I mean, it's a $10, $10 pair of shorts. Like, at this point, I'm not too concerned about buying good clothes, excuse me, until my weight loss is, is where I want it to be. There's no point in spending 50, 60, 70, or 100 bucks on a pair of shorts that I really like, that are good quality, if I'm just going to wear them for a month and then throw them away, or, well, um, you know, 
uh, give them away to the Goodwill uh, Salvation Army, uh, as it were, in the States, I guess. Um, which is what my uh, goal is this weekend, actually, is to uh, go through my closet and everything that doesn't remotely fit is just going into a bag and it's going down to the uh, donation center. Um, somebody else can, uh, who's, who's worse off, uh, can't afford, can uh, get the benefit of some decent clothing. Um, not to say that my, my style is fantastic, but the uh, the clothes are all quality and uh, they should last somebody else uh, who, who needs them more than I do better. Um, so that's another way Slim Band is helping. It's helping me and then it's going to help somebody else down the chain. So I feel kind of good about that. Um, as far as weight loss, um, right now uh, I started at 297 point. 296, sorry, 0. 0.6, 0. 0.4. I forget now. I have the numbers with me. Um, and at my lightest, I was on Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday. I was 235.2, I believe. Um, so that's great. That's 60, no, 63 pounds, uh, 62 pounds, something like that. Uh, 62 pounds. Uh, that's fantastic. So, Banded Scouter, you, buddy, you, buddy, are doing fantastic. I watched your, uh, your latest video, um, I guess you posted it on the 9th, uh, last night on my way to my client here. And, um, you, sir, have re-inspired me to get away from the carbs, get back on the protein track, get back on the, uh, portion sizes and control. So, um, gotten the fact that you've lost 65 pounds and I've only, and I've lost, I mean only, but I've lost 62. Uh, well, you know what, buddy, we're going to have a little competition here. So, cause I, I'm, I'm going to aim for, uh, for Wonderland and I want to get there before you. So, Having said that, you, I believe, are going to have more time to work out and than I will, being that I'm driving a transport truck and it's, it's hard for me to uh, find an hour every day, uh, to, to uh, reliably an hour every day. Um, there are three days a week where I should be able to do that, uh, not too far from the gym. Uh, so, good sir. Uh, you are looking fantastic. Your attitude is fantastic. Uh, congratulations on all that. And uh, let's see, today is the, let's call it the middle of June. My birthday is in exactly two months, August 12th. So in the next 60 days, um, if, uh, if you're up for it, um, Mr. Bandit Scouter, uh, I love that, by the way. Um, I was in Scouts when I was younger. Beaver Scouts, Scouts Ventures. Uh, if you're up for a little challenge, um, go from your current weight, um, which I'm going to review the video. I, I forget exactly what it is now. Uh, and we're going to do a percentage. We are going to have a percentage challenge. What percent of your body weight remaining will you lose in 60 days there you go there's a challenge i think it's a fair challenge um percentages uh being as they are i think that's a fair challenge um yeah so let's see what we can come up with um you know i'm uh i'm Right now, I think I was like 239 when I left my house, so I'm up and down two, three pounds uh, during the week, the last couple of weeks, so it's it's a little curve for me, but uh, I, I'm pretty sure if I um, cut out the the cookies and the, the chalky bars and the, uh, uh, what else would I be crapping out on? Chips? Not really a chips thing. They're kind of dry, and I can't really drink after it, so I'd say, yeah, I think I've had one or two bags of chips, and uh, unfortunately, it's the big ones. Uh... So yeah, uh, it's the cookies, which I'm staring at a little box left over over here. So um, I should just throw those out, but I will snack on those later. Um, you pointed out a few things that you've picked up, the sun-kissed uh, tuna packages. I've been all over those. 
since day well before day one of the surgery. Those things are fantastic. Um, I found just as a, um, um, an addition to what you found with those things, if I take two packages and I put them in a bowl and I add some salad dressing and I found a maple, uh, a honey maple Dijon, um, regular, not fat free, full, full fat, full carbs, uh, salad dressing. Um, I I've done the, the math on these things and the fat free is just higher sugars and the sugar free is just higher fats. And at the end of the day, it's 30 or 40 calories. I mean, difference in, 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 in the total amount. If you take that in a bowl and you add about an ounce and a half, um, to two ounces of, uh, of the salad dressing and you mix it in, it makes it excellent an excellent dip for let's see i've uh i've gotten into these things right here these uh smoky barbecue wheat thins and uh there's nine cal nine servings in this box look at me i'm being abandoned scatter now I'm, I'm doing the whole product promo here i should get paid for this man uh 14 pieces and and these things are well that's actually pretty close to the uh the actual size there. I'll pull it back on my face. We can get of of the um, of the cracker. Um, each serving is nine, 14 pieces, 140 calories, 45 from fat, two grams of protein, two grams of fiber. Um, so and there's five grams of sugar. So it's not they're not terribly uh, unhealthy. Put it that way. Um, not bad for 14 pieces. You can scoop up easily one of those packages of um of the uh, sunkissed tuna so i mean this box lasts me I, I haven't opened it yet there it is it's all uh, sealed up um this is coming home with me um uh this box will easily last me for the entire week um you know three or four of those packages easily um also i've uh, picked up are these um Quaker Harvest Crunch Trail Mix Cranberry and Almond. They're soft. Uh, they're not chewy. Um, they're just soft because they've um, got a lot of uh, honey, I guess, on them. One bar has got 150 calories, 2 grams of protein, 2 grams of fiber. So they're not uh, crazy and healthy either. So those are fantastic. Um, what else have I got going on here? Oh, yeah. Breakfast now consists of, uh, let me reach up here into my closet, and I will show you, uh, Quaker weight control, um, I call it porridge, being Scottish, uh, Ben and Scudder, you'll know that, uh, oatmeal, a variety pack, and one of those, um, about an hour and a half after I have one of these puppies pure protein vanilla shake 23 grams of protein and the total carb count on this is 110 uh, 23 grams of protein 2 grams of fiber 1 gram of sugar um, 2% uh, of your daily intake for fat so 1 gram of fat um, these things are fantastic uh, honestly um, I've done the protein shake thing for years. Uh, I used to work out when I was younger. I did the diesel and the weight gainers and all that stuff. Quite frankly, I don't care what anybody says. That protein powder, while it has gotten better over the years, it's still, you know, you're still drinking chalk. Really, you are. It just I don't care what they say. It's flavored chalk. Um, protein bars. Um, I'm going to try those ones that you uh, that you showed there, Bandit Scatter, and. Um, I give those a go, but uh, as of yet, I, I, I find most protein bars to be uh, chewy chalk, really chewy sawdust. So I'll give those a shot. We'll see uh, how those uh, how those turn out. Um, I live right next door to a nutrition shop, so I'm going to ask the guy if he can actually do um, a sample day and uh, see if uh, I can't sample some of uh, his protein bars to see what's what, because I hate paying money for something that. You know, I buy a box and then it's you know, 40 bucks and then they just, you're choking them down. It's just ridiculous. Uh, so, yeah, I'm also finding stuff like, I'm in my freezer now. Uh, these little 
single serving vegetable packages from Green Giant. Let's get that right. Green Giant, single serving size. So those are pretty decent. Um, next to no calories, let's go with this filler. Now, Weight Watchers, smart ones. These are actually pretty filling for like a lunch um, or whatever. And they have 300 calories, 14 grams of protein, 4 grams of fiber, 8 grams of fat. So, I mean, they're, uh, they're decent. Um, and at 9 ounces, is it 9 ounces? 9 ounces. It's uh, one of those and one of, uh, one of those um, uh, vegetable packages. And that's, there's a good meal. So you're, you know, 350 calories and, and you're satisfied. So there you go. Um, yeah, so I will post this video later this evening. Um, sorry, I've been away for, you know, uh, about a month. But uh, um, I'm feeling fantastic. I'm looking good. My, uh, my gut is, while it's still there, um, uh, being, you know, still 35 pounds over, um, it's, it's not in the way. Um, so it's, uh, it's, it's reassuring to start putting on skinnier clothes, uh, clothes that I would never have put on clothes that I've, you know, as I'm going through my closet and finding all the clothes that don't fit, I'm finding clothes that do fit finally, um, uh, from years ago. And, uh, it, while they may be out of style and, and whatnot, um, at least it's good to know that. I'm making progress, um, but like I said, the last few weeks have been a bit of a challenge as far as uh, self-defeating. Um, we'll go that way. Um, another point I was going to add. Oh yes, um, as you know, I've mentioned that I skydive. Um, that's my sport of choice. I also ride motorcycles. I've got a couple uh, when I have the chance. Um, this job being what it is, I. Uh, um, Skydiving. Um, uh, I was there a couple weeks ago at the club. Um, the weather the last couple of weeks has been, has been pretty crappy up uh, north of Toronto, uh, where my club is. Uh, I found that uh, this is where I get, I get the statement earlier that I said, where I don't find myself having more energy, I just find myself not being tired as quickly. So, um, you know, I was able to do, you know, five jumps, five skydives in, you know, in that afternoon, whereas normally uh, I would have only done three, maybe two, and just kind of hum and hawed and sat around and, uh, you know, um, procrastinated. I was, I was gung-ho about doing the jumps. Um, I'm flying one of those uh, wing suits, uh, the squirrel suit. Um, uh, that's my, my uh, style of preference uh, for skydiving. And when I was in Florida there at Christmas, I was struggling to uh, fly with other people because of my weight. Um, I was, you know, falling faster than everybody else. Um, so, um, but um, my flight times were not that this means anything to anybody there uh, on YouTube land, except for maybe some of my friends who uh, may be watching this that are, that are jumpers. Um, my flight times have went from anywhere from a minute and a quarter um, flight time um, at my heaviest. And now I'm, uh, my last jump there was one second shy of two minutes. So a regular skydive is about a minute. So I've doubled my, my uh, flight time with the wingsuit. Um, and uh, this weekend is going to be a beautiful weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm taking Sunday off of work, and I'm just going to jump my ass off. So hopefully I can get in, you know, 10 or 15 uh, skydives. And that will be fantastic, and we'll see how I do with that. Um, my goal is by uh, Easter of next year to get my tandem uh, tandem master uh, instructor uh, license, um, so maybe I can start earning a little bit more money while I'm skydiving. So, having said all that, it's coming up in 19 minutes. I'm sorry for being so long-winded, but um, it was a you know catch a little bit of a catch-up video, and uh, yeah, uh, especially once again, Banda Scouter, you are doing awesome. Apparently, your uh, your your first fill. Uh, was a great success. You've lost quite a bit of weight since then. You look fantastic. Your attitude is amazing. You are my inspiration um, at this point to continue to uh, to eat healthier. Um, so there you have it. So if I'm losing more weight, buddy, you're helping. 
All right. So once again, there's that little challenge between us if you're up for it. And uh, let's get it going. I'll check in in uh, a couple of weeks. See ya, YouTubers and Bansters. Take care.